Hello, and thanks for taking time to be with us today and watching this video. I am Liz Fritz, and my husband and I are Mission Green LLC, a mission with a company. We are coming to Good Shepherd with a proposal for solar equipment and new heat pumps for the sanctuary. You'll notice here we have a pergola with a solar canopy. Our mission is to encourage our community to move towards a sustainable, renewable energy use. You can find out more about us on our website, www.missiongreenoneword.llc. So who are we? Well, we're members of Good Shepherd, we're neighbors, we're former teachers, and we're business owners. Our, we have had a 30-year business of rental units and upgrading properties. So what do we offer Good Shepherd? We are coming with a business proposal for energy and equipment, and hopefully a path to the elimination of fossil fuel by using renewable energy. This picture is a view from the backyard. Once again, you can see the post and beam pergola with the solar panel canopy. So how will we do this? Well, we'll use two different tools to do this proposal. One is a power purchase agreement for the energy, and the other is a lease to own heat pumps and electrical equipment. A business relationship would be established through a power purchase agreement and this lease. This is the view from the back door of the fellowship hall as you would be walking out towards the backyard. So how does a PPA work? A power purchase agreement or PPA is a contract between two parties, one which generates electricity, that would be Mission Green, and one which is looking to purchase electricity, that would be Good Shepherd. The Power Purchase Agreement defines all of the commercial terms for the sale of electricity between these two parties. The Church has entered into a Power Purchase Agreement before, previously for the solar array that we currently own. That was with Go Solar and Good Shepherd members Kate Narvison and Dennis Potatz. PPAs are a popular tool to use to allow nonprofits to access energy benefits. Some of the PPAs in our community would include Luther College for their solar field. They have part of the PPA with Larry Grimstead and also with Novak Electric. The city of Cresco also has a power purchase agreement for their energy. These contracts provide an affordable solution, allowing for payments over time with predetermined payments throughout the life of the contracts. As part of these contracts, Mission Green is responsible for all the liabilities, contingencies, and maintenance during the contracts. We would provide energy to the church at 13 cents per kilowatt hour for the budget year 2023. The cost would increase by one half cent kilowatt hour each year of the seven year power purchase agreement. And as a point of comparison, the current Alliam price is about an average of 16 cents per kilowatt hour. At the end of the power purchase agreement, a buyout of the solar project total is required at fair market value. This buyout is a requirement of both the power purchase agreement and the IRS. This next picture is a view from the bell looking towards the pergola uh, you can see the annex there to the right. So how does the lease work? That would be the second part of this proposal. This would be a lease to own contract for the heat pumps and the electrical equipment. It would be a predetermined monthly payment each year. At the end of the lease, Good Shepherd will own all the heat pumps. And at the end of the lease, they will be paid in full no buyout. This next picture shows the placement of the air-to-air -air heat pumps 
The furnaces, which are on the roof, will be removed, and these will be ground mounted. They will not be visible from the sanctuary and are very quiet. So what are some of the benefits of this project for Good Shepherd? Well, first, we will help move the needle towards carbon neutrality or net zero energy. It would be a proactive replacement of furnaces. Some of the research that we did during this process um, came across several facts that were quite meaningful to me to share. One being that 85% of all furnace replacements are done on an emergency basis. And of course we know that probably means in the middle of winter and you have to replace it with exactly what you have. In our case that would be gas. And what that really means then is 30 more years of fossil fuel that we are dependent on. Another equipment, uh, excuse me, another benefit would be the equipment upgrades at a reduced rate to Good Shepherd. And this payment is spread out over seven years. At the end of the lease and the power purchase agreement, Good Shepherd will own all heat pumps with an advanced air purification system, all electrical equipment, create all of its own energy using solar, and have a waterproof covered courtyard. So we've had questions like this. So what if we just replaced our gas furnaces? We can be proactive with that. So we did some research. It would cost approximately fifty to fifty-five thousand dollars for gas replacements at 2022 prices. Now we know there'll probably be some additional costs with that as well for electrical uh, upgrades and that type of thing. And so if we consider going out and getting a loan for $60,000 and we compare it to the same time length as the lease and power purchase agreement of seven years at a 5% rate of a loan, well, we would pay over $11,000 just in interest and we would have a monthly loan payment of $850. But remember, we would still have all of our energy costs of at least $550 a month and that are the actual costs that Good Shepherd is spending right now. We also provided a graph here to talk about energy costs in general. We made a projection here. Um, if we have, you'll see in blue, it's the current gas and electric use of Good Shepherd. And this is increasing at a 7% per year average. And then you can see the mission green, which we have it plotted as a 5%. It's a little bit less than that, actually. You can see those costs over the life of the PPA. But one difference is you'll notice here that we are uh, at a zero cost because we now own all the uh, equipment. Good Shepherd owns it all. And then going forward as well, you would see that those costs would continue to rise, but if we had the solar energy in place, there would be no costs. So we know that energy use can be volatile, and this graph represents actual energy costs for Good Shepherd for the months of January through March in 2021, that's the gold, and then in January through March of 2022. So what happens if energy costs go up as much as they have this year? This year has been a percentage increase of 43%. The use of the power purchase agreement allows for creating predictable energy costs. So another question that we've received is the heat pump the best option? So this graph is showing uh, air conditioning and heating costs and their efficiency comparisons. So this shows that for every dollar paid for energy, which is in the light green, how much heating and cooling is generated in the dark green. So our present gas furnaces are 80% efficient at best. That means for every dollar spent, we receive 80 cents worth of heating and cooling. The next column is 
called resistive electric heat, and that would be something like a space heater. And this is actually 100% efficient. It's really great to heat the person, but can be expensive to heat the room. As we look forward, we see the geo heat pumps. This is what we used in the 2019 remodel. And we can see that they are very efficient. For every dollar spent, $4.50 worth of heating and cooling is available. Very efficient, but we have no more room for another geo field. We've used up all the space in our backyard. So the next best option and most efficient option would be the air-to-air -air heat pumps, which are on the last column there to the right. For every dollar spent, $3.50 worth of heating and cooling would be available. I would encourage you to read all the items that are included in this proposal that are listed on this slide. It is extensive and comprehensive. We're using the best and latest technologies available. The solar panels are commercial grade and the heat pumps are similar technology to the equipment in the fellowship hall. I also would like to mention that this proposal is unlike any other past church projects. This is a business proposal from Mission Green, who is offering a combination of all these interconnected elements. The congregation's decision is about which path to accept to move forward. This picture is looking out of the backyard from like the kinder house windows. And this is an actual picture with the post and beam pergola and the solar panel canopy at the Coulard Foundation, which is one of our contractors where we'll be getting solar panels if this goes forward. During the project, there would be some additional work needed that would be the congregation's responsibility. This would happen during the installation of the pergola and solar equipment. Uh, directly behind the education wing. We have an old fuel barrel that is still underground. We would need to excavate that and dispose of it properly. And if mitigation was needed, we would have to take care of that. We also want to create a large French drain system to handle um, roof and storm drainage. We have a wet area back there. All of our downspouts currently flow into that area. And Lindsay Erdman has been working with us on this design. The next section of our presentation will be covering the financial information. So how much does it cost? Let's start by comparing the energy costs. We'll start with budget year 2021 on the left. This was actual costs of energy for 2021. And you'll see that the monthly cost of energy at the very bottom there in yellow was 507. On the right would be the future budget year of 2023. You'll see that gas has been eliminated and that now the majority of the energy is being produced with the Mission Green Solar Power Purchase Agreement. 52,000 kilowatt hours at 13 cents for that first budget year. This creates a new monthly cost of 563. We have tried very much for this project in general, we have tried to keep the cost under control as much as possible, and we are operating at a very low profit margin. But Mission Grain does function as a business and operates legally within the rules of the IRS. So let's look at that first budget year. You can see the power purchase agreement energy costs of 563. That was the same as the previous slide. And then the lease costs of 1337, making a monthly payment to Mission Green of $1,900 per month. Now, as I mentioned previously, one of our goals is making this financially manageable for Good Shepherd. 
We are doing this by securing low interest loans, actively seeking and acquiring outside donations, and also applying for grants that would all be paid directly to Good Shepherd. And what you see in the yellow box is a representation of these donations. We currently have enough money to provide an 833 donation uh, amount that would reduce the monthly cost to Good Shepherd for the first three years of the contract. All these donations are paid directly to Good Shepherd. And I just want to also comment on the, the monthly increase to Good Shepherd includes all the solar energy, the heat pumps, the pergola, the paved courtyard, and all the electrical equipment. As I mentioned before, Mission Green is a business and operates within the rules of the IRS. So we are able to claim the solar tax credits, which enables us to pass low costs on to Good Shepherd. So let's look at these first three budget years. We mentioned that on the last slide with our donations. Um, you can see that the energy cost rises each year. That's that half cent per kilowatt hour. The lease cost is rising by $1,800 per year or $150 a month. And that makes the monthly payment to Mission Green, um, as well as the donations. And then you can see that we add the 2022 budget of 583, and you can see those increased monthly costs over the first three years. We want to mention that we are continuing to pursue grants that could possibly make the first three years of payments completely go away. This is great information, you might be thinking, but can we afford it? Well, we went back to the annual report from January of 2022 to the Treasurer's report and just picked out a few things that we thought were good tidbits of information to share. First of all, we ended the year in good financial shape, with some surplus yet. We're also being very aggressive with our debt retirement, and says that we can be debt free in April of 26. And then we know that Good Shepherd members are very generous. However, we want to reiterate and reinforce the fact that we are not asking for an appeal from the congregation. Yes, we think Good Shepherd can afford it. We think it can be part of their budget. If we look at this graph, you will see it's dealing with the current debt reduction in blue, the Mission Green proposal in green, and the buyout in gray. Those first three years in blue are representing the current debt reduction that finishes in 2026. The small amounts of green are the additional cost to Mission Green for the solar initiative. You'll notice that in 2026 that it turns to all green. So the $42,000 that had been used for debt reduction could then be applied to the Mission Green proposal for the next four years. At the end of 2029, that would be the end of the power purchase agreement, and the lease would be completed, and it would be time for the buyout. And the buyout is based on about 35% of the solar project total. And we demonstrate here that if Good Shepherd would continue to pay that $42,000, they could have this proposal paid in full by 2032 and all their, all their energy costs eliminated. Let's look at this in one other way, just as a summary. This is showing you the costs over the life of the contract. You'll see the energy costs, which are growing by the half cent per kilowatt hour. You'll see the least costs, which actually 
gradually increases and then actually decreases just a bit. And then you'll see the most important thing is that monthly payment to Mission Green that after the first three years saves constant at $3,500 per month. Additionally, we want to remind you that we are pursuing those grants that could possibly make these first three years of payments go away. This is the uh, solar panel canopy again. We want to mention that it is on a hardscape permeable paver surface. So we have two choices. We can choose our path. We can continue our path with gas furnaces and continue to have a fossil fuel future. Uncertain energy costs, emergency repairs, there would be a loss of this outside funding that has been secured by Mission Green. There would be a loss of a $75,000 forgivable loan from Mission Green and a loss of the donations and the grant dollars. Or we could choose this path. Good Shepherd could move that needle towards carbon neutrality, a net zero energy future, proactive replacement of our furnaces, new equipment at reduced rates to Good Shepherd with that predetermined payment spread out over seven years. And there is so much more. I have been giving you the 10,000 foot overview, but there are many things in this project that checks off a lot of boxes. Some specific elements that I want to point out to you that are part of the proposal would be the advanced air purification system for the sanctuary as part of some backup heat that would be installed. The removal and relocation of the old Alliant transformer, which is sitting behind the education wing currently. A larger 600 amp service panel for future electrical needs and a digital monitoring of all the solar arrays that we would own. Wi-Fi enabled and an app on the phone. We've researched this proposal for over a year and have brought to you the most efficient, best technologies and overall plan. Each element fits within the other and it is the most affordable plan we could present. In closing, I want to address three areas that are driving this project for Mission Green and hopefully considerations for Good Shepherd as well. First of all would be urgency. The financial urgency of tax incentives that are disappearing, which is one of the ways Mission Green is able to present this proposal as a business. The practical urgency of our furnaces failing soon, and the moral and ethical urgency. Our planet just can't wait. We want to be proactive. We want to replace furnaces before they fail. And we want to plan for predictable energy costs in the future. And our mission, as also Good Shepherd, we want to be leaders in caring for creation and be able to redirect energy savings towards other church mission priorities. If the decision is made for the project to move forward, we wanted to share some of the contractors that would be working on the project. They are primarily local and we are very excited about the possibilities of working with these people and bringing this proposal to you. Thanks for spending time with us today. We encourage you to go to our website, missiongreen.llc, and see the other resources and information we have there. There's also a place to submit your questions 
via email directly to us. Thanks again. We hope you will consider joining us to move the needle towards a carbon neutral future for Good Shepherd. Thank you.